Good morning, everybody. This is Wednesday. Um, moment of destiny of Pastor Adibo coming your way. Uh, I want us to start today by giving thanks to God and bless Him and appreciate Him for His goodness and mercy over our lives. In the month of April, the month of March is rolled by this, the fourth month of this year. And I want us to think and see what God has done for us individually. If you are still having the breath in your noses, you are listening to this broadcast, wherever you are, I want you to give thanks to God. Let him know that you are grateful. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. We give you glory and praise. Wonderful Holy Spirit, we appreciate you. Receive, your, receive our praise today. In Jesus' name, amen. Um, today, we are starting our three days fasting and prayer, which we do every month. To commit the moon to the hand of God, God wants to see the hand of God in everything. And this month, we are actually focusing on the blessedness of the Holy Spirit. It's such a very um, life-changing, word study subject about this personality. Because it is what you know about people that determine what you get from them. I mean, the Holy Spirit, uh, the book of John was talking uh, from verse 14, uh, John 14, from around, you know, uh, verse 20, 20, from around 18 to 20, to 22, he said, that from verse 17, he said, the Holy Spirit, he said, that um, they know him not, that the word whom the word cannot receive, neither see him nor know him so it means to me that how much of what you are going to receive from the lord but determined by how much you know and see the holy spirit it is through the holy spirit that we receive from god so how much of your receivement is determined by your knowledge of the holy spirit the the facts and understanding about him determine how much of the move of the spirit of God you see in your life. If you notice, Jesus was very, very conscious of the Father. You can see him talking from John chapter, if you read from John chapter 10 to 14 to 16, you see him saying, Me and the Father, we are one. The, 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 the person that does the work is not me, but the Father that dwells in me. Just as Jesus was very conscious of, of his relationship with the Father, and that was the basement for all the miracles and manifestation that you see around him. In a similar way, God wants us to be conscious of Jesus in us by the ministry of the Holy Spirit. So, so God wants us to make those statements that the Father is in me, I am in Christ. Christ is in me, I am in Him. These are things that the Holy Spirit wants us to know. Jesus came to reveal the Father to us. The Holy Ghost came to reveal Jesus to us. So without the Holy Spirit, you cannot see much of Jesus at work around your life. And that's why it is so essential that this month we're going to be focusing on studying this blessed Holy Spirit. Fact, we'll be talking about knowing the importance of the person of the Holy Spirit. From the time he came to, the, to this earth, the first manifestation of God on this earth was the Holy Spirit in Genesis 1 to 3. Before he came, the earth was, 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 was without form and void. Before he came, it was dark. Before he came, it was chaos. Before he came, everything was standstill. But after the Holy Ghost stepped in, it began to move. The Holy Ghost moved upon the face. It was when the Holy Ghost began to move in that chaos that it was transformed. So without the Holy Spirit, you die with your chaos. I'm going to pray. Holy Spirit, I invite you into my life, into my marriage, into the life of my children, into what I am doing invite him if you don't invite him he will not step in your invitation will be based out of your understanding of who he is knowing that he's a person if you don't understand somebody is a person you will not relate with them as a person that is what we'll be praying right now holy spirit come step into my affairs let's pray begin to pray right now wherever you are i see the holy ghost step into your affairs today let's pray in the name of jesus christ we're going to ask him to come holy spirit as we fast and pray at this month come holy spirit step into our chaos holy spirit come step into our destiny step into our family 
step into my home, step into the life of my children, step into my finances, step into my ministry. Holy Spirit, without you, things remain stagnant. Without you, does nothing move. Without there's no creativity. Holy Spirit, when you come, creativity come. When you come, way out come. When you come, we don't die in our chaos. Holy Spirit, we invite you. Come today as you fast and pray and seek your face. Show up yourself in our life. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Uh, please, if you are there, you are not born again. That's where the journey starts from. Tell the Spirit after me, Lord Jesus, I come to you right now. Forgive me my sins. Wash me with your blood today. I receive as my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving my soul. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So please, I want you to share this broker with somebody. Let somebody be blessed by these brokers. God bless you. I'm meeting tonight, uh, by, by today, by 2 p.m. on Zoom. Join us for this first time of prayer and fasting. Uh, 2 p.m. Washington, D.C. time. And 7 p.m. Uh, London time. Or Nigerian time. Please join this meeting as we pray and fast to seek uh, the Holy Spirit. And I know it will break out in your life, vibrate in your spirit. And turn it around for your life in Jesus' name. God bless you. See you today. Bye-bye.